I just wanted to give you a quick update on my keto journey before I start cooking. Um, <clears throat> I have now lost 18 pounds. Woohoo! And um, I have lost another two inches. Now, mind you, I don't think I'm measuring right. Not that I'm not measuring right, but you know, I got a list of all the places I'm supposed to measure, but um, I don't. I don't think I measured everything on there. So I'm only measuring my chest, my waist, my hips, and one thigh and one arm, and my neck. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know if that's how I was supposed to do it. I probably lost a lot more inches than that, but that's what I was doing. So anyway, I just want to give you some reference. I lost two more inches and um, two more pounds. So that's awesome. I am so excited. And I had a, like a slow start to the week. I kind of um, went off keto a little bit and it wasn't even like a whole day. It was just like, I don't know whether that was what it was or I don't know. I'm, I'm doing dirty keto, so I will have um, zero carb bread from Aldi or low carb tortillas on occasion, not very often. I don't know what it was, honestly. Um, but I lost that and then, cause I felt like I gained like two pounds. At least I weighed myself and it said I had gained some weight. But then I lost that and then I lost more. So I'm, I guess I didn't do too badly. Maybe I should only weigh myself once a week and um, just stick to Fridays. No, I don't know. Anyway, so all's well that ends well. And um, I'm sticking to plan, but I do notice that, okay, so one thing that I started doing that I hadn't done before was now that my body's in ketosis, I don't feel like I'm in, I'm hungry anymore. I'm not craving anything. I'm, you know, I think a lot of it is this mindset where you feel like you have to eat these meals all day long. And because I'm not hungry, I don't need to. I guess that's where intermittent fasting comes into play. So this week I started letting myself actually skip meals. So I will have a meal, um, maybe a heavier meal at lunchtime or at dinner time, and not not eat anymore until um, either lunchtime the next day if it was lunchtime, or um, like an early dinner whenever I got home from work. So that has really made a difference. So much that I have decided that I'm going to do, Prove It has a, um, which is where the liquid ketones, or the drink cure ketones comes from. Um, they have a reboot, which is a 60 hour fast. And um, I'm gonna give that a shot. My sister, I've, she said that she's gonna do this with me. So I'm gonna do it this month. I think it's like on the 13th. And I'll let you know, I'll give you updates on when that's happening. And um, I'll probably do a vlog just so that you can see how I'm feeling. Um, I did notice this week that I need to drink more water. And I do have electrolytes that I take every day. Um, they are perfect keto electrolytes. And um, I know that Prove It has some too, but I already have them. So I'm just gonna take what I have. So I'm taking those electrolytes. I, I There's also like, um, Something my mother gave me from, I think it's from Real Salt. Um, it's electrolytes you can just add to your water. And that's pretty good too, but I, I totally forgot I had that. So anyway, I just need to make sure I get my water in, to be honest with you. I think that's the deal, because I've noticed I have leg cramps and sometimes headaches, but I just have to get my water in. You're supposed to drink, I guess, um, half of your body weight in water. So anyway, I just need to get it done. So anyway, I'm making today, but that, but that, anyway, that was my progress. So yay, I'm feeling great. And um, so today I'm making Pollo Del Mar. When my kids were little, when they would go to their dad's or they were out for the weekend, I would go to Los Cucos. Now, if you're from Houston, then you know this restaurant or you might have heard of it. Um, they have an order, a dish called Pollo de Mar, which is chicken breast with a 
like a cheesy, creamy um, cheese shrimp sauce on the inside of it. And it's served with rice and beans and tortillas and it's so good. Well, I'm making my keto version, so it doesn't have, I mean, I guess I could have done cauliflower rice, but I, I'm just not in the mood for it. So I'm gonna do a side salad with my um, chicken breast and my creamy sauce. And I hope you enjoy it. I really can't wait to have it. I'm starving Marvin over here. So anyway, thank you for joining me and I hope you like this recipe. Bye. done the other one. It'll help it cook a lot faster. <coughs> and then just season it. I'm gonna cook this on the stove top. So the sound is really bad. I'm just gonna voice over this. You're just gonna add to one tablespoon of butter your chicken breast and let them brown on each side. As you melt your butter, you can season your shrimp. I just used the uh, Fiesta brand um, fajita seasoning. Make sure you check your chicken. You want it to be a nice golden brown on each side. And then just add your shrimp. I'm gonna not cook it too long because you don't want rubbery shrimp. I'm just gonna have it barely pink on both sides. And then it'll finish cooking when it's in the sauce. So you just remove your shrimp into a separate bowl just so that it you know doesn't overcook and leave a nice shrimpy butter sauce in there and to that you'll add your heavy cream your rotel tomato and the grated pepper jack cheese now this is gonna melt pretty quick so I know I've sped up the time on this video, but it really does melt fast. So just keep an eye on it. Lower your temperature. And then add your shrimp back in. And it's done. Now I'm just gonna brown both sides of the chicken, make sure it's cooked through, and we'll plate it up.
And there you have it. Pollo de Mar, the keto version. Now, I don't know that the version at the at the restaurant is all that much more difficult, but at least you know what the ingredients are when you make it yourself. So enjoy, I hope you give it a shot. I will have all of the ingredients and directions in the description box. I hope you try this because it smells delicious. Um, I cannot wait to dig in. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you want to see more videos about cooking, my, my keto versions of different things, please hit subscribe. Um, I started on this journey because I wanted more energy to do these projects that I have for my home. I'd like to maybe start a business doing them someday. So, um, this is all part of that plan, I guess. So anyway, I hope you join me for the ride and um, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified next time I have a video. And if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Thanks. I'll see you next week. My plan is to do weekly updates on my keto journey and then hopefully get in a DIY project in there every week. I have a lot of video that I have not finished. Um, editing. So I'm going to get that done and post that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you have a great week and, um, I can't wait to show you some other things. I think the weather is supposed to change this week and, um, it should be a little cooler, cooler as an 80 degree high and sixties in the morning. So let's hope. And um, I was going to make shepherd's pie this tonight, but I wasn't in the shepherd's pie kind of mood. It was too hot. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get to try this recipe. I will have all of the information in the description box and have a great week. Bye. Yeah.